Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it is time for Saturday with Stacy YouTube number 198. Oh my gosh, we're almost to 200. I have no idea what kind of whatever we're going to do special for 200, but we're counting down to 200. Now, today is a great day. It is a great day. Why is it a great day? Well, last YouTube I talked about my car and that I went car shopping because my car is 2004 suburban 125,000 miles it has been driven long and well and the air conditioner well it wasn't just the air conditioner it was the whole blower the heater the air conditioner the fan gone so and it's been gone since January which during the winter I'm okay without heat during the summer I need air conditioning I am 48 going to be 49 years old and I uh, there are a few things I need in my life. I need air conditioning in my car during California summers. So anyway, um, I had asked you guys to post a comment on should I lease, should I not lease, I've never leased a car. Holy smokes artichokes, you really let me know. And from reading all of your comments, you're right, I am not the girl to lease a car. No, no, no. I am a girl who buys a car, pays it off, and then drives it until it just won't drive anymore. Because that's the kind of girl I am. I don't I don't know. I I just a car is the thing to get me from A to B, and um, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> so so anyway, today is a fabulous day. Why? Well, we took the car to the mechanic, and uh, you you wait you wait for the mechanic to call. Now this is the third time the car's been in the shop in the past year and a half for the air conditioner and heater. You wait for the phone call from the mechanic to tell you how much it's going to be because I just, I can't see putting $1,500 or $2,000 into this car, but I can't see spending what they want for a new car. <gasps> so I talked to Mr. SMS. Have you heard from the mechanic? Nope. Haven't heard from the mechanic. A little bit later, have you heard from the mechanic? Nope. Haven't heard from the mechanic. I think I was driving him insane and I do have the ability to do that. Drive him insane. Finally, he says, okay, I heard from the mechanic. It's like, all right, I'm going to sit down and you're going to give me a brown paper bag. And when I hyperventilate, you just give me the brown bag and I'll blow in and out until I can comprehend what you have told me about fixing the car. He said, okay. I waited and he goes, it's under warranty. <laughs> what? <laughs> when is a part ever under warranty. They may have been under warranty at some point, but when they finally break and you need it replaced, it's never under warranty. I don't think I've ever had a car fixed that was still any part of it under any kind of warranty. I was, I, I mean, beside myself, I am so excited. So I said, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> Since I've never had anything under warranty before, he says it's going to be free. What? You can see I'm very excited. So that means I don't have to go look for a new car right now because my Suburban, with all of its lovely door dings and its fender dents and and it, it's it's it, it's perfect. It's exactly the car I want and I am not ready to give it up yet. So my heart is happy. Honestly, I have never had anything ever be under warranty. It's always, oh, and your warranty just expired. Or no, this part doesn't fall under the warranty. I am like so excited. So I will have air conditioning for sunny California weather very soon. Ah! So thank you all for your comments from last YouTube, which was when I did Simply Refined, the Flip It dies, which you loved. Thank you very much. Along with the Contour Plus die, which had all those doilies that you could fit through your Big Shot machine and then make them super big. You loved that as well. And the embossing folder. So that's that was YouTube 197. And, uh, and that's what I asked you to comment, post a comment about whether I should lease or not. And it has been determined I am not a good candidate for a lease. I am a girl who likes to pay things off. I get nervous if I owe money. I really do. I know this might sound crazy, but I don't have a credit card. I have a debit card. And so everything we do has to be able to be paid for. No credit. 
no credit card. I mean, my debit card's got a Visa logo on it so I can use it like a credit card, but I am just, I worry so much that, that something will happen and I won't be able to pay for it. So that's just me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm excited. Thank you all for your wise and very sage advice saying, oh, Stacy, yeah, we know you well enough. You are not a leasing kind of girl because I'm a girl who just wants a car to get me from point A to point B. I don't care if it looks beat up. I don't care. You know, I'm good. Really, I am as long as it has the air conditioning. So, so having a new car every two or three years, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay, but I don't have to because it's under warranty. I almost feel like, like putting it on the calendar that this happened on this day, <laughs> something that we owned fell under the warranty. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I have a wonderful YouTube for you today. And it is from a really awesome little company, a mom and pop just like us. They have this fabulous new product out that is really super fun. And I wanna show you a couple different ways to use it so you can make up your mind. What I want you to keep in mind is that I'm just using paper. It's okay. If, if you try something and you don't like it, I'm just using paper. So, so you, can, you can play without it being, <gasps> so you'll see, I can't wait to show you. Um, what else? My mom, my mom is doing great. She, you know, she doesn't realize she has cancer. So how much better can you ask it? The dementia and you know, my mom's a diagnosed psychotic depressive and she has dementia. She just goes about her day and she watches Judge Judy and Dr. Phil and I think it's the biggest blessing of all that she doesn't even remember she has cancer. I mean, how much better can you ask for, really? If there's no dwelling, there's no worrying, it's just what, she's just, she's just happy most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on my mom. I am in such a good mood. I still cannot believe my car is going to be repaired without any charge to me. I, I'm, but I'm going to take it. Okay, we've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. And that was from last YouTube, 197, because this is 198, counting down to 200. And again, that was on my Flip It's Dies from Simply Refined. And I have got two lovely winners who posted a comment. Bless your pea picking heart. Thank you very much. And if you hear your name, you have won a collection of the flip side, the four dies that make up the collection of the flip side. And how do you claim your prize? Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com, look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner, click it, follow the instructions, and then just as soon as Dale and Kayla have the opportunity, they will get your prizes to you. Okay, if you are Charlize, Charlize Smith, Oh, congratulations, Charlize Smith. That is an awesome prize and I hope you like it. And and if you already bought them, well, you can always cancel your order and you have these. And if you don't wanna do that, you can share these with a friend. Congratulations, but you are not alone. Julie, Julie Le Le Leopold. Julie Leopold? Yay, Julie, congratulations to you too. You and Charlize, you are our winner, winner, chicken dinner for YouTube. One number 198. And again, you've also won the four dies that make up the flip side by Simply Refined, which are designed and brought to you by me. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're going on two years, two years of doing, of doing my own brand. It's craziness. So I am so excited for both of you. Again, go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look at the winner, winner, chicken dinner link, follow it, and then claim your prize. Now, if you want to win a prize, you have to post a comment on this YouTube. And to do that, you have to have a YouTube username and login, watch the YouTube, and then post your comment. Or watch some of the YouTube, post your comment, and come back and finish the YouTube. Or say, post your comment in the beginning and then go watch the YouTube. <laughs> Whatever makes your heart happy. Right now, I'm in heaven. So <laughs> now, again, today we've got a uh, new company for us and new product for them. The company name is called Uchi's. U-C-H-I, Uchi's. And I'm like, the first thing I did when I talked to them, it was like, how did you come up with this name? And it actually is from one of the owners. And I hope I pronounce your name right. I, I promise I'm trying. 
I believe she pronounces it, and I don't have an accent, but Luciana, Luciana. And so she designs the stamps and all of this wonderful product that you're going to see. But I guess growing up, her family called her Uchi for, instead of Luciana, Uchi. And that was her nickname. So when it came time to name the company, they named it after her. <laughs> now we put Facebook post this and some of you came up with very creative ideas on how they came up with Uchi. <laughs> like she didn't want to call it Uchi Kuchi. <laughs> Or they had just had a baby and they say uchi kuchi a lot. It was very, very clever. You guys were very, very cute. But I am excited to bring you the product that they have. Now I'm gonna show it in a couple different ways. I'm gonna do some things that are a little different than what they've done with it as far as I know. So even if you think maybe this isn't for you, hang tight, trust me. You might find that it is exactly what you want and that you're so intrigued by the animation of it all that um, that you just, you just, love it as much as we do. So I am going to tilt down and I am going to get started for today. And it is so good to see you and it's even going to be better to see you with air conditioning in my car. Woohoo, could you? All right, down we go. Bye. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be so excited, but it's really hard not to be so excited. <laughs> I was just expecting and dreading the worst and because we don't um oh, is that gonna study okay because we don't like to carry debt I was so worried about car payments and anyway all right so this is the make and take that's going on downstairs right now super cute right but wait oh I'm gonna do it slow can you see the animation going on Look at how cute is that? This is what they've come up with, animation stamps. The stamp looks like this and you're like, oh, that doesn't look like anything at all. That looks like, that looks like we stamped it wrong. <laughs> That's what it looks like when you accidentally stamp and smear it or smudge it. But what that does is it creates a way to have an animated stamp so that when you use it with the grid, it just is so cute. So I want to show you how to use these today because I think that you're going to get such a kick out of it and they've got several different stamp sets. The stamp sets each have several different animation stamps on them. They're very reasonably priced. They even have the die to make the little pocket. They've got a few dies to make the little pockets, although I will tell you that if you um, if you know how to do pockets yourself, um, truly they're not difficult, And but you don't have to have a pocket at all. I'm gonna show you all of that. So I'm gonna start by showing you this one of the sets. This is, um, is it Grow? I forget, what, oh, Growing Garden. This is the Growing Garden set. And this is how they come packaged to you with the grid right on top, and so you can slowly slide, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this on camera, slowly slide it so you can see all the different animation. So if you are at your local retail store and they happen to have these, you understand, it says pull. Now the nice thing is, once you buy this, you have the grid right there to start working with. You can start making stamps right or uh, cards and uh, little embellishments right away. But they do have other product that goes with it and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But I wanna get started. So I'm gonna open this one up. Uchi's. I'm gonna slide it on out. So again, you can take the the grid and start um, start using it right away. And this is what the grid looks like. It's just a piece of plastic that has lines. But those lines are what makes the animation work. And the stamps, the stamps all have lines to them. So the stamps don't look really typical because they've got all of these lines coming off of them. That's what makes the animation work. That's what makes it move when you slide the grid 
back and forth over the top of them. It really is a whole lot of fun. So I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah. Cute, huh? Okay, so I'm going to play with some of these and I'm going to do them a couple different ways. Now first off, they are just clear stamps. So they cling to your block. Easy peasy. You can just pull them right off and they're a clear stamp. So I have with me my do crafts. This is my new my new best friend because I don't lose my blocks. These are from do crafts and you get the five blocks. I want to say it was I don't know if it's twelve dollars and fifty cents. It was really 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 reasonable and we will put them on a YouTube yummy for you because if you are not a big stamper, but you need blocks. I know companies that sell this block for $9. Here, you're gonna get an entire stamp or a block set with all the sizes, most common sizes. They're gridded for you. I like that they're not too thick. They're not as thin as the Tim Holtz grid block, but I have been told by several of our customers that they like them a little better because they're easier for them to hold, but they're not so thick that when you push down on it, I need to feel how much pressure I'm using. So again, and they come in this handy little storage unit. Makes sense to me and so reasonably priced. So I'm gonna be using that today. I'm gonna to be using my gush pad, which is by Simply Refined. This is my gush pad. This lets me stamp into, this is actually half of it. It's, it's double that size for $1.99. And my clear stamp just clings right to my block. If you've never seen a clear stamp before, that's what it does, it clings. And then you can take it off and then you can put it on and then you can take it off and then you can put it on. So it allows you to stamp over and over and over and over again. And that's why once you have a nice set of blocks, you never really need to buy another set because the block itself can be used over and over and over again. Now, there is something that's important about these stamps. Those lines, those lines are pretty important. And those lines need to be straight. You want to stamp as straight as you can. So to line up your stamp, one of the easiest ways to do it is to take your stamp out of your, out of your set and then put your stamp with the ridges against the actual picture. Uchi's has done what's called indexing and you may have heard me talk about that before. Indexing means that they've added the picture to the set so you know exactly what you're getting. They've printed that picture on the outside. Now one of the easiest things to do to make sure that you're lining up straight is to close it up with the, the, the ridges, the side that you're going to stamp. You're just going to line that right up to your index. And line that right up to your index. Because it's a clear stamp, you can see what you're, where you're lining it up. Gonna line it right up. And then you just take your clear block and go grab it. And now you're straight. So all I did was with the ridges down and the flat smooth side facing me is I lined it up right on top of the right on top of the index, right on top of the picture, so that I can see what I'm doing, make sure it's nice and straight, and then just take your clear block, push up, you're good. Now you're ready to stamp. It's that simple. Very easy to do. Now to stamp with these. It's being shown most commonly with black ink. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with some Memento black ink. And Memento ink truly is the ink of choice here at Scrapbooking Made Simple because it's a wonderful all-purpose ink. It's a dye-based ink, which means it seeps into your paper rather quickly, but it doesn't smudge and it doesn't smear. And so you cannot emboss with this, but it, it is a lovely, it's a lovely ink. They come in 36 colors. 
And the beautiful thing about Memento ink is not only do they have full size, but they have little dewdrop sizes of the exact same color for $2.29. Then they have the pins that match, again, exact same color, and they have the reinkers. So if you have either the little dewdrop size or a full size pad and the reinker, you just reink, 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 reink. And then if you have the memento marker, we consider this our oops pin. So if we're stamping something and we just missed a little bit, you can just go in and fix it with your oops pin. Today we're going to be using it to actually color our stamps because you can use the pins, the markers, to color directly onto your stamps. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm just going to stamp the whole image. And I'm going to put my ink directly to my stamp. Get it nice and covered. I think that's good. And why do I have a gush pad? Because if I press into a hard surface, if I press into a hard surface, there's nothing for the stamp to kind of sink into. The stamp needs to make really good contact with that paper, and the best way to do it is to have a gush pad underneath you. It's thicker than a mouse pad, it's not as dense as a magazine, and it gives you a really nice, although I haven't, um, this is the first time with this stamp, so let's see, that's a brand new stamp. Let me make sure I get it really good and then get it down. So being that this is my first time using the stamp since it's a brand new stamp, it may take one or two impressions before I have the most beautiful image. And you can see, I'm not sitting there pressing so hard and doing chest compressions. You really just want to get it down So I'm not doing this. I'm just down, one, two, three, up. Oh yeah, okay. There, that's pretty good. So I've got three impressions. Now those look a little weird because the flowers, I mean, you could certainly color the flowers in and just use the stamp, but the leaves are a little weird because they've got those lines. They look a little distorted, but When you line up when you line up, it blinks at you. <laughs> How cute is that? The grid lines have to be going parallel to the lines in your stamp. All you have to do is line up the grid lines and your stamp and you can see the animation. So cute. So if you're making a card and you stamp a couple of these and then you make a window and you put in your grid, I'm gonna show you all of that. It's just darling. I love this set because it has the flowers and it has the little the little watering can that can sprinkle on the flowers and it has the little snail. I just, I love this set and the little sun that you can put up. So you don't have to just do one image. You can make a whole little scene with them. And I know that one image is what a lot of people are showing right now, but you can make a whole little scene with them. Let's stamp this one up again. And let's give a press. One, two, three, up. And then let's pull. Let's pull the little sun, maybe. And let's put that on our block. Now I'm just putting it on the back side. So I've got the flower here and the sun right there. And if I wanted to, I could bring my little indexed over and I could ridges against the picture, flat side facing me. I could line it up.
which is a good thing because I probably would have just done it backwards. Lined up. Oh, there we go. Line it up. Pick it up with my block. And now I know I'm straight. Ink up my sun. Now this is the first time I'm using the stamp. So usually when you start with a new stamp, you want to do what's called stamping off. You want to stamp it a couple times, ink it, stamp it a couple times. Sometimes there might be a slight residue left on the stamp from being, um, being put on what they call, they call this a carrier. This little plastic that it sticks on. That's a technical word. It's called a carrier. And, uh, and so it may just have a little bit of residue from that. So you may just want to stamp off. And let's give it a nice little sun. One, two, three. And again, that looks a little, the sun looks a little weird. But when we add the animation grid over the top of it, And we move it. <laughs> Is that so darling? Oh my gosh. And then you could add the little birdie. <laughs> and, I mean, you can just make a whole little scene for the front of your card. And all they're going to do is either pull the grid or they're going to pull the actual little tag that you make to make the cutest. So that's what I wanted to start with and show you just how easy it is to do it in black. And that is what they recommend because it may show better than using other colors. But again, remember what I said when we started, we're just using paper. It's okay to play. So let's play a little bit, shall we? Remember I talked about the memento markers and how we're gonna use them to color? If you have a full size ink pad, it is impossible to color the flower one thing. Oh, my poor, my poor fingers. The flower one thing. I just re-inked that memento. I did a good job in the re-inking process. It's very hard to re-ink perhaps the flower in one color, the leaves in another color, and the pot in a third color because how are you going to, you would have to mask off your entire stamp. You'd have to mask this part if I wanted to do the flower in pink, and I'd have to mask off then this part if I wanted to do the leaves in green. But when you have the memento markers, your life is way easier because you can draw right to them. Now I'm gonna play with, oh, I don't know, let's try. I don't know if the hot pink is gonna be too light or not. The darker the color, the better. So let's try, let's, no, you know what? Maybe we'll try the purple. Oh, I don't know the blue. I'm so indecisive. Okay, I'm gonna try the blue. So all I'm gonna do is color this flower in blue. All I'm doing is taking that memento marker and using the side, not the point. I'm using the side of the marker to ink. So let's see if I can get it in here, the side of the marker. Don't use the point. The point is if you need to go in and dab something. I'm using the side to add my ink. Make sure that it's all covered. And then I can pull in a green and using the side, I can do my stem and my leaves. And then I can pull in a red, why not red, and do my pot. And again, I'm just using the side of my marker to color my pot. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is called huffing. So I'm gonna bring this up to my mouth and I'm just gonna huff some steam on it. So you're gonna hear a little, that's me 
Well, I could just it's weird for me to do that. Okay, so I'm going to huff. So I'm just going to bring this up and I'm going to go. <sighs> All that does is reactivate the ink in case it started to dry out. So I need to go back down and do that really quick because by the time now I'm talking to you and I stamp my image. One, two, three, A, B, C, done. One, two, three, A, B, C. Now I can put the grid over it. And this time I've got a colored image as opposed to black and white. It may be a little harder to see because you've used a color, but I think that red is coming through fine and the green is coming through fine. So cute. I just can't keep my lines straight. <laughs> Easy to do. And that's just taking your memento markers. Now, if you've got Stampin' Up! markers, can you use those? Well, of course you can. <laughs> if you've got Tombow markers, can you use those? Well, of course you can. It's just about using, I mean, if you've got markers already that allow you to use the ink to stamp with, then try it. Um, I don't know if the pink's, I want to do the pink so badly, and I just don't know if the pink's going to be dark enough. If your color is too light, then it's not going to work very well. So let's try the pink and see if I can get the pink to work. And I'm just using the side of my of my memento marker and mementos are relatively inexpensive i want to say these are about two dollars and fifty cents oh three dollars but they'll be on a youtube yummy so relatively inexpensive and really allows you to do a lot and they are dual so you could you have a fine tip and you have a brush tip you've got both they are a dual marker and if you have any memento inks you really want to have the memento marker to go with it just because even if you don't ever stamp directly or color directly to a stamp set it's very very nice to have them as a oops pin oh it's so happy i love happy colors okay i'm going to give it a whirl and see what happens all it can do is not work right ready Huffed on it, put it down, one, two, three, A, B, C. There's my image. Now let's try it with the grid and see what happens. make you smile <laughs> they're winking at you flowers that wink <laughs> I love it I do I do I do so even though they really do show it with black and yes the black probably might show a little bit better I think the colors are more fun I think those colors look great Oh my goodness gracious. And then, like I said, I love this set. It's got the little snail. So let's put my snail on and let's do a little snail. So I'm gonna line him up just to make sure I've got him right. Line him up and get him all nice and straight. So the smooth side is facing me. That way when I put my block down on it, picks it up easy peasy. So let's do him in black first so you can see what he looks like in black. Let's do him in black. And let's go one, two, three, A, B, C, up. Now he really looks like, <laughs> like you misstamped, but don't worry. When we put the grid over him,
he's gonna move. <laughs> is that so cute? And this is all off the same stamp set. Oh my gosh, these are so clever and so fun and so easy. But let's see what he looks like if I just do him in green. I might want to choose a darker green than this one, but I don't have a darker green handy. Memento does make a darker green though. So let's just ink him up really good. I guess the snail doesn't have to be green. Give him a good huff. <sighs> Let's give him a nice little stamp. A, B, C, one, two, three, and up. He looks a little bit like a hot mess. And you're looking at that going, is that really what the stamp is supposed to look like? Yes, that really is. Let's put our grid over the top. Oh yeah, he's so cute. And he moves. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you imagine kids doing this? Because it is just stamping and it is just paper. Kids doing this and I mean, the interactive ability is amazing. Okay, my boys, they just left. My children just left and they are almost, almost 16. Oh my goodness gracious. He's going to be 16 in like five days. Holy smokes artichokes and then Michael is going to be 15 just two months later they're 14 months apart even they stopped and said what is that it okay my boys never stop and say what is that unless it has to do with their phone their uh, a, a game of some sort <laughs> okay so cute so you can do it just with the black But if you want to add a little creativity to it, play with the colors. If you don't like it, you've only stamped it on paper. Do it again. Play with them. If you have the markers, anybody's stamping markers, try it. You may just like it. And it takes it from being, you know, a little, you know, cute, but a little flat into something that's got a little more personality. And nobody has ever said that I don't have personality. That They've said a lot about me. <laughs> but that I don't have any personality is probably not one of them. <laughs> now, what's really important is that the grid be perpendicular to the lines on your stamp. If your grid is slightly askew, when you move it, it just isn't gonna quite be exactly the way you want. You wanna keep those grids straight as can be right on your right on your your stamps and they're going to move a little bit nicer much better what's also important is that you want to keep this as tight as you can to the to the paper now if you're making a tag we would cut this out and we would do a die cut with a window in it. So if I had a piece of paper, we would do a die cut and put a window in it, which I guess I can do over there, but let's just get you one right now. I don't have, do I have a must haves anywhere? Um, I do actually have a rectangle must haves. Ooh. So if I were to die cut a window in it, I'm going to do it super quick over here. When I use their die, I'll bring the machine. Well, I can't do that. That's just wrong. Let's just move my machine on over. So I'm using one of my rectangle must-haves, which is a simply defined product, and it's amazing, and you get a lot for your money, and I just want to cut a window. window but you know what I'm looking here what if I did it out of pink paper let's 
cut that window again. I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot machine. I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot machine. I'm using a magnetic platform that does not come with your machine. Your machine will come with a multi-purpose platform. Your machine will come with the long version of this. It's much longer. This is the original size that they have brought back. It is sold separately, but you would use it the exact same way, whether you have the long, the small, or the magnetic. Keep your platform completely closed. You need a cut plate. You need your paper. You need your die face down against your paper. A do not cut plate and send it on through. We're not using a precision base plate because my must-haves are open frame dies and they don't need it. They're not intricate. So now I have created a window. For my image to go behind. I would tape my grid. a piece of my grid use a little bit of Stacy tape to put it down so this time I'm not going to necessarily use um, both sides of the Stacy tape right now I'm just gonna Put it down and just use Stacy tape as regular tape just to hold it to it. Oh. I want, okay, so there's two sides. Do you see the shiny side and the non shiny side? I want the non-shiny side facing me. I almost put the shiny side, but I want the non-shiny side facing me. So I'm just going to tape it down again. How about a third time? Maybe a third time will be a charm. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. Now it's also really important that your grid doesn't bubble at all. It needs to be as flat as it can be. No bubbles in it. If you've got a couple little bubbles in it, you want them to come out. You want to just pick it back up and tape it back down. But then you can put your tag behind it and when they pull the tag out of the card or your layout or whatever you've put it on oh I want to get it really close oh there we go when they pull it out everything moves so super cute and the tighter you have that down, the better. So if I put this onto a card base, I would tape all of this down on around the sides. Not that this is the most attractive card ever. but I would tape it on three sides. So one more piece of Stacy tape on the top. One more piece of Stacy tape on the bottom.
one on one of the sides. Peel up to expose my sticky. So now I've got sticky right there. Peel up to expose my sticky. Peel up to expose my sticky. And then I can put it directly onto my card base. And you've now made a pocket for your little animation to fit into. Now I will tell you the girls have done a beautiful job. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how to get it to work. Let's lower it. Maybe we'll cut a little bit off the bottom. So you need to be able to pull it out to make it work. And of course, I would have a little tab over here so that my whoever I give it to, they would know to pull it out. But that's how simple it is to use them. It really is easy peasy. You just take the stamps and play with them. You just take them and use whatever markers you have. If you prefer the one that is, oh, I think I cut it up. The one that's black, it was on the back side. Here's an owl. I get my grid straight. If you prefer that, the black versus playing with the colors, then just do them in black. But I think that once you get started, you're going to get a little creative. And you're going to want to play because it is just paper and markers. Once you have the stamps, you have them forever. Now it's up to you. What do you want to do with them? Oh my gosh, that's so, so cute. So cute. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to show you that you can do with these. Now, you can take and instead of using ink, you can use embossing powder. So if you really want a really deep, dark black and you're not getting that with your ink, we're going to use embossing powder. So I'm going to put that off to the side and I'm going to take, I'm going to take another one of my flowers. where I know where they go. Oh, I don't want to pick them up. Two, three. I'm going to take one of my little flowers. I'm going to line it up on the front of the index with the shiny side facing me and the grid side facing the, the picture so I can line it up just right. That way I'm sure I'm stamping straight. Take my block, put it down, pick it right back up. I'm a little short on my block. Let's do that again. Let's line it up. Take my block. There we go. So what happened? Why did I have to do that again? Because the bottom of my stamp was not all the way on my block. I had it a little too low, so it was off. You don't want to do that. Just re-pick it up again. And this time, let's grab another piece of white paper. This time, I'm going to ink it up with a Versamark ink. What is Versamark? Versamark is an embossing medium. And it allows you to stamp and that the, the, the ink stays wet long enough for you to put embossing powder on top of it. Whereas Memento ink is a dye-based ink. This will not stay wet long enough for you to put embossing powder on top of it. For those of you who have never seen embossing before, this is an aha moment. Everybody stops when they see this. Now I'm going to be doing it in the black and I'm just going to ink this up just like it was a, a, a colored ink pad. You can also watermark with Versamark if you don't want to use it as an embossing medium. Put it over there. I'm on my gush. I'm going to go one, two, three. 
and up. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, and up. Now Versamark also makes a Versamark pen. So if you wanted to do your embossing in different colors, you could just ink up your, put Versamark pen on your top and then stamp it and put your embossing powder down and heat it and then do your middle section and stamp it and heat it and so on and so forth. We're going to do all one color and I'm going to be using Stampendous. This is detailed embossing powder. It actually says detailed embossing powder and it's really important that it be detailed embossing powder because the stamp is so fine, those lines need to be so precise that if you use anything else besides detailed embossing powder, the, the embossing is going to melt into each other and it's just going to make kind of a mush and you're not going to have those straight beautiful lines. Now detailed embossing powder comes in black and gold and silver and the copper is pretty much exclusive to scrapbooking made simple. I think it still is exclusive to us. Black, gold, silver, copper, white, and I think clear. I'm going to dump the powder over the top. And it's super fine. So you don't use all that much. I'm just going to kind of move it all over. And where I stamped, where I've stamped, I've now left an image. And then I'm just going to pour this all back into my pot. So when I stamped, this is what I had. Can you see that kind of watermark there? Can you see that? That's what Versamark does. Then I put my embossing powder on top of it and that's what it does. But you're not done. If you don't do something with this, what's going to happen? If I rub my hand over it, it's going to wipe right away. That's because the powder hasn't changed into a solid yet. And that's what embossing does. That's what embossing powder does. It takes, it takes a powder and when you heat it, it turns it into a solid. Now, you, this is not a hair dryer. This is a heat it tool from Ranger, and it's my favorite because it doesn't blow everything everywhere. It may take an extra minute to heat the everything and have it emboss, but versus a, a cylinder tool, those tend to burn, so you can burn your paper really easily. This is also super quiet, and I just let it sit there, and magically, you will see it start turning from a powder into a solid. Oh, there it goes. And you can actually see it working. And you'll see it get darker and darker and you just kind of move it over. You see, I'm not doing this. I keep it in one place and I just go until I see it turn. And then I know I can move on. Okay, done. So now I've embossed and you can see that shiny, pretty, beautiful finish. It's going to take a second to cool. Once your paper's cooled down, you know it's cool. And after that, it's permanent. No more wiping away because I took that powder and I made it into a solid. And it, just like beautiful wedding invitations or fine, fine invitations that you get or Christmas that has that embossing on it when you open it up and that the, the, the script and everything is all raised and beautiful. That's what this does. And it gives you that really deep, dark, rich black so that if you do like the black, It works just fine. And what's nice about the embossing is if you do use the black when you emboss it, when you pull it out, 
for whoever's pulling it out because you might put your sentiment down there or on the back. It's really a beautiful image because it's got that lovely gloss finish to it. So it's not just about stamping it with ink. You can absolutely use your embossing mediums. Now I haven't played using perhaps a copper, but a copper would work lovely or a silver would look lovely. And it will give you that same beautiful effect of the animation from the Uchi stamps, which are so different than everybody else's. Like I said, my boys, you know, <laughs> they're teenagers. <laughs> this does not float their boat. <laughs> Knowing that it's the weekend, that made them excited. <laughs> but when they saw this, they actually stopped. And I think that's pretty awesome because it invites kids in. It invites others in because it's animated. It's, it's interactive. And what a great way to introduce crafting to somebody with something that just is so interactive, that is so easy. Ink. paper, the animation stamps, and their grids. So you get one grid when you buy each stamp set, but then they said the, uh, sell the grids separately. You get five sheets for $3.99, and yes, of course, they'll be on a YouTube Yummy. And that is what takes it and makes it animated. Very, very smart. That's what takes it. I want to make sure that I'm straight. That's what takes it and makes it animated. Just incredibly smart. I was so excited to see these. And my girls at CHA, so Uchi's was close to the Kaiser Craft booth. And you know Kaiser Craft is a very good friend of ours. And so my girls just kept looking at these and looking at these because they kept going back to the Kaiser Craft booth because we had business to do. And they said, oh, Stacy. These are pretty awesome. And so on the very last day, they came up, Uchis came up to me and they gave me their business card, which was equally as clever because of course it incorporates the animation. And I called them right away. I said, okay, my girls loved you. Let's talk. <laughs> All right. Now I did tell you that they have a die set. They have a couple die sets and I'm going to be I'm going to be honest, the die sets are very reasonable. They are. I this makes um this makes this size envelope. It makes the window in it, it makes the frame that goes around the window, it makes the tag that you pull out. They give you the square and the circle to do a square or a circle window and it's $19.99. It is very reasonably priced for what it is. I think that they've given you a tremendous amount of bang for your buck. It's easy to use. You can use it with your Big Shot machine. I'm just going to cut a piece of paper. I'm going to bring back over my Big Shot machine. This time I'm going to use my magnetic platform. Again, the magnetic platform does not come with your machine, but it is a beautiful little tool to have if you have a Big Shot machine, a Big Kick machine, a Sizzix Vintage machine, a Sizzix Fabby machine. They, it really is a little bit of loveliness. I'm going to put my clear plate down. I'm going to put my die or my paper down, my die face down against my paper. And because it's magnetic, it means I can line means I can line my die up and not have to worry about my paper moving. So I can cut it pretty close to the edges and not have to not have to worry about that. And then if I want to put my window in, I can take the dies and cut a window. I, I have the option, like I said, to do squares, to do the, o, uh, the circles, 
and then I put my do not cut plate on top and send it on through. So if if you are one of those lucky people who got an awesome tax return, <laughs> I would highly recommend, I mean the stamps are phenomenal and I think you should have the stamps first, but if you can also swing the die, that's great too. Because the dies really are at a very fair price. It has its own crease lines, so you can fold in, fold in, use your Stacy tape to tape the sides down, and we have started to make We've started to make. The only thing left we have to do is if we want to put a window in. Now you, this die is beautiful just on its own. What if you didn't want to use the animation stamps at all? What if you just wanted to make a cute little tag that you can pull out? Well, you can use this die for that. What if you want to go ahead and put in a window? Bring everything back over and because we're on a magnetic platform we can line that window where we want it to be put it down send it on through We've now got our window cut, so we can put our tag in, tape our grid piece to the inside. done and that's using theirs and if you've got the funds then that's awesome it's at a wonderful price this die set and they have a small and a large and of course there's so much more you can do with it I mean you'll see the samples they've done a beautiful job using the the tag or the envelope die and the tag was made from it and the tabs were made from it. So what if you didn't want to use the animation at all? What if you just wanted to stamp something lovely and put it there? What if you wanted to watercolor something? It's a very useful die. I have to admit, it's a very, very useful die and it does come in the two sizes. This one is $19.99, but it'll be on a YouTube Yummy. And then there is the smaller size that's $14.99. And again, a little heart. And it comes with all the things to make your frames and the windows and the tabs. And I think, um, I think it's a really good value. It just depends upon whether you can do this on your own or you already have something like this in your stash at home or in your arsenal. Yes, if you have the must-haves, sure, you can create something very similar to this. The dies, you may already be able to, to have, but the stamps, the stamps you don't have. The stamps are what really are unique and special. So. I, I want to tell you about the dies because I think they're wonderfully priced and, and, and that if you don't have anything like it, it's, it's a good value for you. But if you're able to create your own, then I would definitely buy the stamps and the grids because that you can't create on your own. That is unique. That is special. And that is why I had to do the YouTube. I just thought they were fabulous. And the tighter you hold it, the better it is. So the tighter it is taped down, 
I would not use extra thick cardstock to make the envelope. You would just use a basic pattern paper or an 80 pound weight cardstock because you want to get it really tight down because you want that grid to be as tight as it can be against the, the tag inside so that it really just pops when they pull it. So cute, so cute. Okay, I wanna show you a few of the other sets. And remember, remember what we did. You can do it with just black and have it animated. You can do it with embossing powder and have it animated. Let me get my grid straight and have it animated. And I would play, if I had detailed embossing powder, remember detailed embossing powder, Stampendous, I would try all the colors. Cause again, you're just talking about paper or you can do it with your colored pens, your mementos or your Stampin' Up. What do you already own? If you don't have any, Great, then get some of the mementos. But again, I would focus on getting the stamps and the grids because those are what are unique. Okay, so let's show you some of the other sets before I show you some of the samples. Now this is how they come packaged and it comes with the little, <laughs> it comes with the little grid and you're supposed to pull it and it will show you the animation. I'm struggling a little bit, but that's okay. You get the idea, there we go. So there's the ballerina and she comes with butterflies and she comes with stars and it's not just one stamp. There's, all of these stamps are in there. Here is the, this is a happy birthday. Is this the happy birthday? Uh, oh no, loving cat. <laughs> uh, look at the cat, he's got little, little hearts in his eyes. Look at all the hearts. So that's another one of the sets. Here we have the happy birthday and it says happy birthday and it has balloons and the little bear pops out of the package and the balloon floats and the little guy down there, the little uh, holding the balloon, look at his mouth opens. Is that so cute? So this is all exactly what I just did using the grow set. I am the worst at remembering names. It's here. Oh, here. No, I'll find it. So we have butterflies. Get that straight. And the butterflies flap their wings. And again, this isn't all one stamp. These are all individual stamps. So you can use them any way you want. And it's about moving it a little bit slow. It's not super fast. But when you're in a retail store, if you see these, I love the owls. Love the owls. If you see these, now you know why they look a little different and what you're supposed to do with them. And if you don't have a local store, well, shop at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We would greatly appreciate it. But if you do have a local store, go visit them and see if they've got them. So cute, isn't that so cute? I love the owls. Okay, and the set that I was using today is, oh, there's the die. Oh, here we go. It is Growing Garden. And it's got all the little pieces to make a cute spring and summer card. And again, I really love it. I think it's fabulous. It was one of my favorites because there was so much, you could build a whole scene around it. So now let me show you some of the samples that we have. I already showed you the cute little heart. Oh, something just got delivered. And the little flower. This is the make and take that everybody's doing down below, downstairs. So there's three flowers and each flower does something a little different. There's another flower. Oh, I wonder if that's the same one. Here's the sun. And Yvette made this card and it has two tabs. So you can move, you can move the little grass. It's got little grasses around the, um, <laughs> these are little tufts of grass around the snail. 
And then when you open it, she put the owl on the second one. You can do this. How cute is that? And it's totally interactive. Easy to do. Then we have the birdie in flight. And what you, oh, look at the wings flap. Pretty cool, huh? Now you can take that birdie and color that birdie one color and keep the wings black and just use your markers to do it. And you can make your birdie match the outside of your card. So you could have a red bird or a blue bird. Super cute. Then we have another heart. And again, you can see how these are just incorporated onto cards. You don't have to make the envelope, the little pocket, if you don't want the, it doesn't have to be a whole envelope. You can do and make your own so you can animate your cards. And this just slips right out. Then we have one Yvette did with the heart. So cute. And then Darling. Now this one's got a little slider at the bottom. This little piece slides back and forth. And when you slide it, he opens his mouth. I'm hoping I can get that to slide well. Oh, there we go. And the slide is just moving the it's moving the grid back and forth. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I could sit here and do that, but I won't. <laughs> and here you have one that when you open the card, <laughs> what was Daisy? Oh, here we go. When you open the card, it moves him in and your little dragonfly flutters. How cute is that? And then Yvette did this one as well, where she did two. So you've got the watering can on the, on the top and the little tuft of grass below. So when you move it, you're sprinkling your little waters on your, on your little tuft of grass and then your little tuft of grass grows. They are darling. You can make them so you put a gift card on the back of them. You can, I mean, there's just so many different things. You can slide a gift card in underneath it. There's just so many different things that you can do. So, <laughs> it was a super fun YouTube. I want to make sure you know that if you have mementos, wonderful. If you don't and you want to be able to do what we were doing and you already have other markers that are stamping markers where you can draw on the stamp and color it and then stamp it up. Well, stamping up makes markers. Um, <laughs> then you don't need to have the memento. Focus on getting, focus on getting the stamps. That's what you really want to focus on because these you, you won't have. These you don't have. So they're just so happy. They make my heart happy. And I really want to thank Uchis for everything they did in getting them here and having a great, a great opportunity to bring them to you. I'm really excited about them. All right. Told you this was an easy peasy mac and cheesy. Ooh, let me zoom out a little bit, a little wide. Okay. This was an easy peasy mac and cheesy YouTube. And if you're still with me, what you didn't know, now I'm not, I'm not doing anything. This nail right here broke. <laughs> It broke two minutes before I did the YouTube. Not so much my nail, the nail is there, but the gel on top broke right off. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I can't get to the, I can't get to the, the nail shop because I have to YouTube it literally two minutes before. So if you hadn't noticed, thank you, because I took a green dry erase marker and colored my nail, and then I took <laughs> the glitter accents from Nouveau, the silver glitter accents, you know, the stuff that dries like that. And I put it over the top so that hopefully it blended in. <laughs> talk about, 
talk about MacGyvering it last minute. Holy smokes, artichokes. So, um, so if you didn't notice, wahoo, and if you stayed all the way till the end, you know that I jimmy rigged my own nail to, <laughs> so I didn't have a, a unsightly blank nail during the YouTube. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Where are you going to get all this great product? It's easy. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com. We have the bundle. If you buy the bundle, it's at 25% off. So we have all the stamps. There's six sets. If you buy all six sets, they're 25% off. If you don't and you just buy open stock, so you like this one and this one and this one, they're 20% off. We'll have the memento markers on sale for you. And we'll have the detailed embossing powder on sale for you. And we'll do a memento, the memento black ink, just in case you don't have one yet. All right, you guys, it's me. It's been great. Thank you so, so much. And don't forget to post your comment. And you might find yourself a winner, winner chicken dinner next week. We are counting down to YouTube number 200. Wait till you see what's next week. Oh, all I can say is shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. There, that's your hint. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you next week.